In the last few videos, we discussed the technical differences between a managed switch and an unmanaged switch. In this video, we're going to take a step back and look at these at the physical level and discuss how to tell them apart on the job site. And we're also going to include some quick troubleshooting steps that will help you save time. When purchasing a switch, you can tell if it's managed or unmanaged by the title. All managed switches have the term web managed or fully managed in the title. If it's an unmanaged switch, it will just say 24 port. It won't have the term managed or web managed as seen below. For example, these two codes below could be used to create a VLAN and then tell the switch where the default gateway is. The default gateway is that router that gives you the internet. We have, however, we've ensured that everything you can do in the command line interface, you can easily do through the web GUI. We also have additional resources that provide you with sample code and examples for each switch. So if you would like to use this feature, you can. But if you would like to use the configuration page or the web GUI, you can also do that. And our configuration page is located on most switches at 192.168.2.1. Remember the configuration page is the main difference between a managed and an unmanaged switch. You will need a managed switch to create VLANs or use more advanced security or network control settings. For more information on logging into a switch, check out our video about logging into an Intelnet switch. Now, if you wanna be 100% certain if you have a managed or an unmanaged switch, you can also look up the model number using our support.intelnet network.com website. Here, you can find information on any switch that we made. Because these switches are built to last, we make sure to include information on all of the switches, whether we create it now or we've stopped production for a few years. And if you have any additional questions, feel free to give us a call at our support number. And we'd be happy to provide you with the model and some information on the current version of that switch. So our next topic now is troubleshooting unmanaged switches. Troubleshooting is very simple for unmanaged switches. First, check that the switch is providing power to your cameras. If your cameras power on, then you know that the PoE is working on the switch. The next thing is if you have no internet, but PoE. If this is the case on an unmanaged switch, first make sure that your switch is connected to the right part of your network. Then check that the network or the office has internet. Before moving on, if you don't have internet connection, you will need to call your ISP or IT team. But if you have internet on another switch or another part of the office, but not on this unmanaged switch, as an installer, that's your hint that you need to call your IT team or your ISP. The switch then is fully functional because providing PoE to those cameras. But there's a network issue, either a firewall or something issue that is blocking this switch from getting internet. Always remember to check if you're connected to the internet as the first step in troubleshooting. Moving the switch to another port on the router or to another switch on your rack will often resolve this issue. But you will want to check with your IT team or network admin to ensure that the network is configured correctly. We have a separate video called Logging into a Managed Switch, which will list some of the troubleshooting steps you should check on your managed switch. So to wrap up, to recap, to tell if you are purchasing a managed switch, look for the terms managed or web managed. If the switch is already in your server room, look for the reset button or the console port. If your switch has both of these things, it's a managed switch. To be 100% sure, you can always use our support.intelnetnetwork.com website to find product information on any of our switches, regardless of whether they're in production or they've been discontinued. Troubleshooting is simple for unmanaged switches. Check if it powers on your cameras, and then check if you have internet. If you have both, your switch works properly. Thank you again for choosing Intelnet. If you have any questions, please feel free to call us at 888 844-2636.